Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we're pleased to announce we've finally finished our alternative build for the LEGO Jurassic World Dilophosaurus Outpost Attack 75931, which has proved a tricky build due to the limited pieces. But we love a challenge and we eventually turn the set into the alternative build we're calling the Dock Breakout, which includes a cool ranger boat and a dock jetty with a crane. So if you want a boat dock scene for your Jurassic World collection, you can follow our step-by-step -step build tutorial at the end to make it, but first let's take a closer look at our new creations. And as far as spare parts go, we only had a few pieces remaining, which could always be added in if you wanted to use them up. Now if we start with the dock jetty, we thought it would be a great idea to keep the yellow crane from the original build for this creation, because it's a fun machine one of the guards can operate at the side of the water when they want to load or unload supplies from the boat before a mission. The jetty below is not bad either and has a nice rundown design with a wooden plank walkway, a warning sign, overgrown plants and we cleverly use the crate as a main support to improve its wooden construction. So it's a cool park extra that will help expand play with the boat. Next up it's the boat that's a welcome change from all the land based Jurassic World vehicles in the set and as you can see thanks to its grey and dark blue colour scheme, solid rectangular shape and interesting details it would definitely blend into an in-gen landing party scene. So if we go in for a closer look it's hard to miss the dinosaur cage at the front that was easily put together by bending three of those fence pieces over the structure to create a reinforced roof. We also bolt both sides of the hull out with tile, grill and bar details and for access there's an armoured ramp at the front that can simply be lowered down when you unclip the wire around the edge of the cage like so. Then once the ramp's down you can place the Dilophosaurus into the cage and put the wire back around the sides to close up the ramp. But we must admit this is a fiddly process so you could keep the ramp closed instead and gently squeeze the dinosaur in this way as a second option. Further along we attach the remaining fence pieces either side for two more access ramps and these ramps can both be lowered when you reach a bank or the dock jetty so the guards can hop on and off from the sides. There's also a cargo hold in the middle for storing the egg crate, coffee mug or other supplies. Then to the side you might have noticed we clip binoculars with the two plain white first order riot shields to this weapons rack so the guards can grab the shields quickly to contain a dinosaur. And we definitely think this is a better way to use the shields like they do in Star Wars was they were wasted as roofing before. Other interesting details on the boat include elevated floodlights above both ramps that can be aimed thanks to ball joints to spot dinosaurs on the riverbank. Then if we turn to the back you can't miss the boat's control tower sticking out of the build and this main hub on the vessel has sloping armour at the front for protection with a red green warning light system that can alert the guards of the situation. On the left side we attach the ladder here for easy minifigure access to the top and on top there's a computer screen, a satellite communication dish and an antenna receiver. So InGen spared no expense with the equipment and it's a good place to put one of the guards to pilot the boat on a rescue mission. Lower down on the tower we built in some engine piping to show the boat has propellers underneath the waterline and if we go to the right side you can place the important tranquilizer with a radio in these clips for safekeeping. Then last up, if we flip it over, we raise the flat underside slightly to reduce the drag and to give the boat a floating look when you push it around or send it to the dock jetty to unload the dinosaur cargo. On a final note then, our dock breakout alternative build is a creation we're quite proud of because instead of having a standard fence build area, you can now enjoy a large boat which design-wise with all the extra grey and dark blue details should fit the in-gen vehicle spec nicely. We also think lots of you will love how this new build expands the set and as you've just seen with the boats lowering ramps, control tower, cargo hold, dinosaur cage and the extra dock jetty with the working crane you can play out a fun dinosaur rescue in the water. So if you're desperate to add this boat and jetty to your Jurassic World collection you should watch on now to check out our step by step build tutorial and if you're ready to go let's start the build.
And that's the finished build, so now you can enjoy our dot breakout, or maybe you've taken inspiration from this creation to make something more awesome. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK alternative build, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.